Hello and welcome back to the second part of um, building the mains conditioning hub. Um, I've sanded it, I've already fitted in the metal boxes there. Okay, so what's going to happen is this is going to go over the top of it like that. Right, but before we do that, I want to do some finishing on it. Now I've already sealed it all up so it's nice and smooth. Okay, so I've done some sealing on it already. And then I was thinking before about covering it in leather, then I sort of changed my mind a little bit. So I'm opting to uh, to spray it with some a gunmetal colour. I thought it might look better if it was a bit more industrial looking. Um, so I've enlarged the hole there as well for the, uh, the 16 amp or 20 amp IEC socket. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be spraying this in in uh, in a black prime at the start with then the gun metal and then a satin clear lacquer at the end of it. So I'm not going to show you how to do this. I mean it's pretty self-explanatory, but uh, I'm going to crack on and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. And there we're going to have an earth plug in that end. So uh, I shall crack on now, get this done, and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So I've uh, I've been primering it up. Uh, I've used up all the uh, black primer that I had, and now I'm using some uh, grey primer. So we're just going to give it the last coat of grey primer, and then leave it to dry overnight. Really going out of the corner, so just the last coat up here. So we're going to leave that overnight now, and then tomorrow we're going to rub it back, and then we're going to then start doing our top coats of the uh, the gun metal so i'll be back soon so i've uh, left this now for a couple of days to really harden off this is the uh, the primer so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to be flattening it back with some some p1000 and it'll flower up on the surface as i as i do it you see that you can see all the flowering going on and what I've got to do is I've got to sand all this down nice and smooth and then wipe it all down with some tack rags so there's no dust on the surface when it comes to doing the uh, <clears throat> the metallic finish and then after the metallic finish we'll be giving it uh, some uh, satin lacquer over the top of it because when you do metallics you really need to um, you really need to use a lacquer after to seal it in because it won't wear very well and uh, although I know this is just a, um, a mains conditioning hub I'm a stickler for making things look really professional so that's what I want to do um, <clears throat> so I'm going to carry on flattening this back then I'll be back in a second and I'll show you the top coats well I'll show you the metallic coats so this is the colour that I'm using to uh, to do the um, the metallic. It's a gum metal grey, and I thought it would look quite nice with a gum metal grey. Give it like a, a metal feeling to the box. Um, so we're going to need to put our a uh, few mask on because we don't want to be doing it without that. Also, this is it's got to have a hole drilled through there, but this is a plug for this end that goes over there. 
for the earth spike to go in. So this is going to be sprayed the same colour. So I shall be doing that at a later date. So we just want to make sure there's nothing dusty on here. We don't want any rubbish on there. So we're going to just turn it upside down first and spray the underneath. Okay, now I've shook this load. I, may, I always warm these up slightly under a hot tap because it, it, it makes the, uh, the pressure in the can better so it sprays better. Okay, so let's have a go at it then. Now the problem with metallics is they can sometimes go a bit stripy looking. So you may have noticed I've put some nails in. The reason for that is so I can turn it over and then afterwards the foot is going to go there, the rubber foot that I'm going to put on there. So that's like that. So now all I've got to do is just to flip it over like so and now I can spray the rest of it. So I'm going to make sure there's no, no dust on this at all. Right. Right, so we're going to flip it round again now because uh, it's easy just to do that. Okay, spray this in again. that now to dry for an hour or so and then we're going to come back out and give it another coat because we want to build up the layers so this is the second coat I've already given, given the second coat to the underneath so we're just going to give this coat now Right, just going to tip that round one more time and just give it
Right, I think that's it. So we're going to leave this now to dry till tomorrow. And then we're going to then give it our clear lacquer, which is a satin finish. So uh, we'll do that tomorrow. So we'll be back soon. Now, I just want to show you how to heat up a can, um, which I mentioned earlier on. So I've got a, a sink here filled up with hot water. I'll just stick the can in and what it does is it keeps the pressure high in the can and gives you more better spray pressure as you're spraying out I mean, if you're, when you get to the end of a can often there's um, there's paint left in there but the pressure's gone so what this does is this effectively pressures the can again so it's just a little trick of the trade I thought I'd tell you you don't want to leave it in there too long and shake it and then you can feel it go cold again you want to keep it in there until it till the can goes warm um, once you've shook it and this can's been in the studio overnight so the studio out there gets cold so um, so I don't want to do that so I'll keep it keep it in there so and then afterwards make sure you dry the, the can off thoroughly with a towel okay let's get back out into the studio so I've already sprayed the underneath of the unit with the lacquer. Now this can there is warm to touch. When I showed you it in the sink there, don't leave it in there too long, it would explode. So you only really want to warm the can up. So we're going to now give the top coats. <laughs> so we'll give two, two coats of this, leaving it an hour in between coats. Right, okay. Stop around this thing. See how powerful the spray is as it comes out because the, the can's been pressurised really well. Now what we need to do is just lift this up. Right, okay, so I'm going to leave that to dry now for an hour and I'll be back and do a second coat. So, uh, this is the last coat now. So let's go and give it a, another blast. A nice heavy coat on the top. Right, that's that's that finished. So what I'm going to do is I'll uh, I'm going to leave that now for 24 hours to really harden off, 
and then we'll be putting some feet on the underneath of it so I'll be back then right okay so we've finished spraying the uh, the mains hub uh, I'll give it a, a nice gunmetal colour it's been primered and then it's uh, a gunmetal metallic there we go so I've fitted some little feet on the underneath it rubber feet on each end because I thought that would be really really good um, this end is where the IEC plug the, the goes in there so this is the bigger type of IEC the 16 amp or the 20 amp I can't remember what they call this one um, I used oh it's a 16 amp that one okay so that goes in there that's for that end and then this is the little blanking plate which is going to have a hole drilled through the middle for when I put the earth the earth plug at that end so then we can earth it straight to my my earth spike okay uh, all I've got to do now is just uh, sort out the filter which I'm uh, sorting out at the moment in my head I'm, I'm designing one to go in there um, it's going to fit in here and then we've got our plastic clear plastic cover that goes over this so uh, that's going to be that so yeah this has been a really really good project so far I'm really happy with the way the finish has come out as well um, I hope you like the way I was spraying it and I showed you how to uh, you know pressurize the can by warming it up slightly but one thing I must uh, really stress is don't leave it in the water too much because it's going to really uh, it could explode <laughs> you just want to keep the pressure high so it gives you a better more even finish and with metallics they go very stripy I mean you can you can do what you like with a case you can you know paint it white do whatever but I just wanted to give it at first I was going to do it in a leather finish and then I thought no I'll make it a bit more industrial looking now these are all the plugs here that are going to pop in there so they're all going to go in there like that um, there we go so that's going to look like that now so uh, yeah this is going to be quality so and then I'm going to wire it all up with uh, with uh, silver cladded copper all teflon insulated and uh, we're going to have a, a power cord made for it this is going to be the bee's knees this is and this will save you loads of money I mean if you think about how much like this this particular Los Andrews hub costs that one there I mean this really is going to probably only come to about £200 uh, compared to what this was, 1500 so uh, it's an interesting project so I hope you like this video so all I've got to say now is, uh, is thanks for watching another Tweet Command video if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a, a new video and uh, thank you for watching